This is Dan Abbott. I am making a short video to show you how to deal with the fact that center marks placed in AutoCAD are not annotative, although they should be. And I wonder sometimes if the people who work with AutoCAD have ever actually done any drafting. So there is a command called the center mark command that was added to AutoCAD a few releases ago. There's also a command that's been around forever called dim center. Dim center applies a center mark. It's been um, a problem ever since annotative objects became a possibility because it doesn't re it doesn't actually respond to an annotative scale. So right now I have a scale set that is an annotative uh, dimension uh, style set that's an annotative dimension style. But if I use the dimension center command then I place a center mark. If it's a one to one scale it looks like I want it to look. If it's a one to two scale come over here and it gets smaller. Well, Autodesk added the center mark command here. And that center mark command seems like a good idea. It allows you to just grab something, an object, and then put a center mark on there. You'll notice it's bigger than that center mark because unfortunately they make a, um, a very bad decision here that allows the, the um, center mark to vary in size based on the size of the circle. That's not the ASME standard. The ASME standard is that center mark should be consistent throughout. So if I had a smaller circle here and I put a center mark on that, that center mark would get smaller reflecting the circle. It's, I think it's 10% maybe uh, of the size, this crosshair size is 10% the size of the circle. Well, that's not the way crosshairs are supposed to work. So you'd like to think that there's a way to fix that. And there is a way to sort of fix it. The problem is the way to sort of fix it is to change it from relative to um, an absolute size. The absolute size, though, can be whatever you want, which means you could match what you want and not have it change size based on the size of the, of the circle. But two, the way to do that is this clunky thing where you at the command line type center mark gap center mark size yeah center mark size nope center cross size center cross size comes up and right now it's set relative 10% of the size of whatever circle or feature you pick you could set that if you wanted to to 1.5 millimeters which is what I'd want it to be no I wouldn't I'd want it to be three millimeters and then you have another value called the center cross gap enter and that would be half of the half of 10 percent or 1 20th of a circle size but you could also set that to a specific size now when you place it it looks closer to what you want because it looks like what you would have set this for up here so it's identical now to what i have my dimension style set for the problem is it still is an annotative now how they managed to put a new feature in here and not make it annotative I don't know and there's no way as far as I can tell to make it annotative because even though you can go and look at the properties and you can adjust the properties here down here it has annotative as a possibility but it's grayed out and it's grayed out no matter what I do so it's not something that you can have scale automatically so you have I have a solution it's a little bit of a clunky solution though and the solution is this turns out that if you have a dimension style, I have one up here, I'm going to set it current. If you have a dimension style where the style itself is not annotative, but instead under fit you set scale dimension to layout, it will now scale the center mark for you. Now it won't be annotative because it's not a single entity, so it won't change size if you change the scale, but it allows you to place your center marks once you've established a viewport scale and they'll come in the right size. You can't place them while you're in the model space tab because this is a scale to viewport, not scale to model space. The problem is that you don't want all your other dimensions automatically just scaling to the viewport rather than be annotative. So what that requires you to do is to set up a style that's a parent style that is not annotative. Under fit, you tell it to scale to the viewport, to the layout. 
and everything else you have to change to a child variation angular diameter leader linear ordinate and radius make all of those annotative now if I set that current and come back over here I say I want a dimension center on this one looks like that I come up here where it's one to two dimension center on this one it gets bigger so that it appears to be the same size but you see relative to the circle it's bigger come down here I can do the same thing also gets bigger so it means everything is consistent that is a workaround it seems to me a clunky workaround I'm not sure why when they developed this new feature and I, I say new it's been around for several releases but I don't really care for it one of the problems I have in using it even if it sort of seems to work is a situation like this where I want to put a center mark in here Oop, I'm sorry I want to put a center mark in here so I use AutoCAD center mark well I want to get rid of that extension line because it extends beyond something that's not there but there's no way to do it if I right click and go to properties I come over here and say well it looks to me like the bottom extension I can change that let's put that to zero however that is an absolute value for how far beyond the feature it goes it won't turn off the extension line well if I go to properties I can actually turn off extensions but then all of them turn off so it's just not a useful tool to me and I've never used it and I've never used the center line command either because I want to be able to do this delete that line modify this one so it's not overlapping an object line and this is not an unusual shape by the way this is why I wondered did the people who developed this ever actually try using it and I, I wonder that because you see samples where they're explaining how to use it and they'll have so many violations in, into standard drafting that it's just stunning you know I don't, well, the reason I want to do this is because then I can put a dimension that goes from here to the end of that crosshair bring it down and now my consistent gap is the same all the way around now if I do the same thing over here DCE it makes a center mark now that's big enough so that when I zoom in I can do the same thing get rid of that overlaps get rid of the overlap bring it over here but get rid of that overlap bring it over here and then I can still put a dimension that is annotative a linear dimension that goes from here to here and that annotative dimension just randomly did it but that annotative dimension now is large enough so it prints so if you want to be able to place center marks that are themselves scaled to the viewport but are not annotative and at the same time have annotated dimensions that's the best thing I can come up with so it looks a little clunky because you do it once put it in your, your template and now it works every time the only other alternative um, is to put a center mark in let's make that one current the only other alternative is to come up here put a center mark in there after the center mark is in there use the scale command scale all of it right around the center twice as big now it's the right size but you've got a very long extension line you still have to edit it anyway so you could go ahead and do that my preference right now is to create a dimension style where the style itself is um, everything scaled to the viewport but the dimensions as they're placed every single one of them including leaders is actually annotative